What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dom back with another video, man. And today, 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 I'm gonna finally be getting my back tattoo. So, I've been wanting to get this this back tattoo for a little minute, um, but like, it's just been a lot of complications, and then also like me trying to set it up to where like I can have time for it to heal, because I I personally say you know, like at least two weeks to really like get the main um, parts of it healed. But like it take like three to four for you to be able to go, you know, work out again, steam room, sauna, all that stuff. So like finally got a time where I can do it and I'm excited. Um, it's early right now and I'm gonna get there probably around like 10, 11 just because um i'm gonna have like i'm gonna do all the layouts and everything like that get everything finalized um just basically i want to I, I didn't go beforehand to like you know talk about it and do all that so i'm gonna do all that today so i'm going there early and if y'all if this is our first like video of i mean tattoo video from my channel that y'all are watching normally i try and like talk to y'all and tell y'all um I mean, pretty much, you know, get you some food. Like, give y'all tips and stuff about, like, how to help you when you get getting tattooed. Because I know not everybody just goes out and get tattoos all the time. And a lot of y'all, it might be y'all first time. That's why y'all watching this video. But I recommend making sure you eat before. Something that ain't gonna, like, give you the runs. Um, and also have, like, snacks and stuff to eat during the session. If you have a long session, um... And I normally work out a couple days in a row before because like you really, depending on how much you get tatted and where you get tatted, it's kind of hard to just sweat and work out and it's gonna mess up the healing process. Um, I recommend also getting Aquaphor um, and in the back team spray. Those are like my go-tos with tattoos. Right now I'm trying to figure out what I actually want to eat. I really don't know. I might just end up at McDonald's. Um, just because I don't know what I want to eat. But with all of that being said, um, you know, this this the intro, or whatever, I ain't gonna take up too much of y'all time. We're gonna get right into it. Alright y'all, I definitely recommend y'all making sure y'all get enough sleep if y'all have a long tattoo session because I started to get super tired um, the night before I only slept three hours. Um, my sleep schedule has been off, so like, I mean, I knew that was going to come, but I didn't know it was going to affect me pain-wise like it did. I felt like that played a big factor. Um, it still hurt more, like, closer to the armpit, like the sensitive areas, but um outside of that i mean I, I was ready to tap too but then i was just like let me lock in get this done and get up out of here so i mean even though my face is straight <laughs> i definitely was feeling the pain
this was day one. Um, my back, I mean, it was just super swollen. I felt like I couldn't move how I wanted to move. Like, it was just super stiff. Um, and I could definitely feel the tattoo. Um, like, anywhere I wanted to move, like, grab something, bend down, anything. Like, I could just feel my back being stiff and stretched. And I had to, like, just keep um, aquifer on it. The whole time, um, like every couple of three hours, four hours, I would just put more on there. All right, y'all. Day three was way better than day one. Um, I was just really past couple of days been doing nothing but just letting it heal, um, cleaning it every four hours and putting an aquifer back on it. That was pretty much it. Day seven. Now you can kind of see the peeling um, if I zoom in here. But I just had to really just keep ointment on it um, and just try to stay off of wearing shirts and stuff like that um, and just pretty much let it heal up. If you look close, you can see the peeling. Um, it didn't hurt at all. Um, if I, like, touch my back, I can feel, like, the grooves and everything. Um, but it, at this point, it was just like I'm just ready to let it heal so I can get back in the gym. Um, still was keeping Agafra on it, but... The peeling process is really my favorite process because that means it's almost healed up. This is day 11, and you can pretty much just see it's dry right now. I didn't wash it or put any ointment on it yet. Now all the peeling is pretty much done, so all I've been doing is just putting um, extra dry skin lotion on it. So, I mean, I can actually put shirts on and don't really have to wear aquifer. And at this point, it doesn't really hurt anymore. I'm just waiting for it to heal. And this is what it looks like after I washed it and put lotion on it. Um, looking pretty good. I mean, healed pretty good. If y'all have any questions, like, don't. As far as, like, getting a tattoo, um, how it feels. Um, I And I would say, like, out of all my tattoos I've gotten, my back is, like, the, i say it's the weirdest one just because it's, like, I can't physically, like, see it. So it's, like... Sometimes, I mean, I might think it's dry, but it's not dry. Um, and just because it'll like itch or it'll feel a certain way, and then sometimes it'll be dry, I won't notice. Um, sleeping wise, it's like, can't sleep on my back. I couldn't sleep on my back at all. Like, it was just, it was a lot that goes into it. Um, I do want to get my bottom half done, but I'm, I'm glad I took, I just did one, like, one half at a time because. It's just weird. This is like a lot of stuff you, you do on an everyday basis that you don't notice that. Um, I just, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff that you do like on an everyday basis and you probably won't actually like notice that you need to like use your back for it or whatever. But um, with that being said, again, appreciate y'all for watching. Um, subscribe if you're new. Like the video, comment any questions y'all have, and where do y'all think I should get tatted next? Should I finish my, my full like leg sleeve? Should I bring it over to my thigh? Should I do my bottom back half? Like, should I touch my other? I don't got no tattoos on my right side of my body. It's just all on my left. Um, I might leave it like that though. But thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time.